we will talk about one of those whom the Prophet ﷺ gave them the glad tidings that they are in paradise. We'll talk about Abdul Rahman ibn Auf. May Allah be pleased with him. Abu Bakr went to him and he presented to him the message of Islam due to his good characters, ethics and morals and reputation. Abdul Rahman ibn Auf he accepted Islam immediately. He accepted Islam at a very early age. In fact, it is reported that he was 10 years younger than Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He was from amongst the top eight to accept Islam. When the revelation came to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to emigrate to Medina, Abdul Rahman ibn Auf, when he decided to migrate to Medina, the Kuffar Quraysh, they said, okay, Abdul Rahman ibn Auf, if you want to go and join Muhammad and the Muslims in Medina, you could go, but leave your wealth behind in Mecca. And that's how rich it was. His wealth could change the economy of a whole country. So Abdul Rahman ibn Auf, all this wealth which he had amassed and worked hard for, he had a choice, either to stay in Mecca with his wealth, or to emigrate to the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Prophet and the Muslims in Medina. So he decided to leave every single penny, left all his wealth in Mecca to go to the Prophet and the Muslims in Medina. But Abdul Rahman bin Auf, he arrived in Medina penniless, destitute. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam made a dua for Abdul Rahman ibn Auf. May Allah grant you blessings, barakah in your wealth and in your family. But as for his wealth, he earned so much, he became so wealthy that he was one of those whom when the caravans were seen far away from Medina, they immediately knew this is the caravan of Abdul Rahman ibn Auf. He had so much of wealth, even Uthman ibn Affan once saw the caravan of Abdul Rahman ibn Auf when he was returning from his own journey. He looked at it and he said, that is a man whom Allah has blessed with a lot of wealth. Yet when he made Hijrah, he had absolutely nothing. But Money was not in his heart, money was in his hands and that is why he was generous. It was reported that in one single day, he freed 30 slaves of his for the sake of Allah. He did not wear fancy clothes or ride fancy rides. He was a normal Muslim.